Okay, today I went for harvesting some, uh, some of our crop. Um, there's our courgettes, different courgettes, beans, cucumber, apple, uh, the last of the broad beans, melon, and uh, now what I saw on the way back, we saw that uh, there is a big branch hanging out uh, out of one of the allotments. Big part of it is hanging out. And so nobody picks it because they think it is a. Uh, it is green and it is not edible. I ate one of them and I noticed that it is edible actually. It is, it is, it is ripe. If you leave it like that, they will go like this and they are not edible anymore. They are rotten. And if you leave them more, they go with this kind of brown rot, which is a fungus disease. Fungal disease. And uh, so, I thought that uh, I, will, I will collect as much as I can. Nobody wants it, it seems. And uh, it was in the street not uh, any plot it was the branch is in the street completely in the street so i collected as, as much as i could in this beautiful basket i got from Lotlu, and uh, i looked for the similar colored and uh, similar colored uh, fruits and i found about it in this book also in the website it's called yellow pressure and the book is from the the, boot, the fruit tree handbook from the Ben Pike by the Green Books, and I read about it in the uh, Black uh, Keepers Nursery website. That is yellow pear shore plum, and that's the color. And description is a, is an old plum, 1827, UK. Uh, originally seeding seedling found by George Crook in Tiddlesey Woods, pear shore, Worcestershire. That's the reason it's called yellow pear shore. In 1827, it was widely planted, so medium sized, slightly necked. That is a slightly necked. Uh, oval fruit, canary yellow, bloom, bloomy skin, firm, dry yellow flesh, not much flavor. That's actually true. As a desert plum, but uh, dessert plum, but an ex excellent cooking plum. But keep well if picked before fully ripe. The season is, uh, as is written here, mid-August. Now we are in the 5th of the August. And it is already done. We can eat it. I uh, harvested a few of them. Some of them are greener, some of them are yellower. And I can now taste one of them and tell you how this tastes. What I have here is about probably uh, 6-7 kilos of it. It looks like this. It looks a little bit like a Victoria plum. People, that's the reason people expect it to go and get ripened. It's, it will never go any ripe. If it ripens anymore, it will go rotten. That is what will happen. They think it's Victoria, so they have wait. They have to wait. It will never go any better than this. So I picked a few and I'm tasting it now. Mmm. Okay. Dryish kind of, but juicy. Um, sweet is not bad tasting. It's sweet. Not very much sweet, but it's plummy. The flesh, as you see, green yellow, and uh, relatively not dry to juicy. If I want to juiciness from one to ten, that's juiciness of it is five. It means it's medium, medium juicy. One is driest, ten is the juiciest. <laughs> 